It's a great honor. Uh, it's been a long season, uh, a lot of up and downs, but I'm just honored to, to really get that award. And I really thank my teammates and everything for that. Uh, I couldn't, I wouldn't have got it without them. And like I said, it's just a great honor. It's a great accomplishment for me and my family. What did you think going into the season? What did you anticipate this season being like for you? I mean, I know we have some up and downs. All freshmen have their, their bumps in the road. Uh, there's all these obstacles and stuff like that. And we went through that. And, we, we had our bad times, we had our good times, but like I said, I wouldn't trade it for nothing else. I wouldn't trade my teammates for nothing else. I'm glad I came here. I really love the season. I think we're in a great spot right now, but uh, definitely we can improve, and we will over the next couple of weeks. Kevin, Cal said that, that you guys had scrimmaged a lot to kind of get yourselves whipped mm -hmm. into shape when you, you started you know, going on the winning yeah. streak, and then he didn't scrimmage before the Florida game, and he felt like maybe that had been a mistake. Mm -hmm. Did you? Did that take some of your edge off, do you think? Uh, no, not really. Uh, just because you didn't scrimmage don't don't really necessarily mean we got to go out and play like the way we play. But the scrimmaging did help us out a lot. Just getting to know each other uh, better on the court, playing with different lineups, getting the feel for each other. I think that really helped. Uh, I, mean, I think I think we should have went uh, a little bit more scrimmaging, but that's not a, a reason why we are excused to why we played that bad. What do you learn from that game Saturday? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's going to be the rest of the season is really going to, everybody's going to give their all and Florida definitely came out on top. Uh, they were sitting a lot of shots that uh, we, we didn't really play that well, but that's how we're going to get the rest of the season. So we just got to be able to come in mentally prepared uh, and just make sure that we come in and play hard every game because now it's winter, it's winter go home and a lot of teams are seasons are on the line. So we got to be able to come out and play hard like our season's on the line. You said you guys are in a good spot. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would think, boy, they yeah. just got beat by 13. Mm -hmm. They're not in a good spot. Yeah. Well, why do you think you're in a good spot? I think we're in a good spot just because I think that we have we can improve as a team. Like on, on Friday when we lost, or Saturday we lost to Florida, we were really get, giving our all. The players weren't really playing their best. But if you get everyone to play their best, and this team is really hard to beat. Uh, we played a lot of games this year, a few games where we just went out and just played our, all of our best, best games and everything, and we haven't lost yet. So we just got to. From now on, we got to play like that because, like I said, it's when I go home. Which games stand out in your mind as examples mm -hmm. of everybody played their best? I mean, I think the Louisville game, I think the West Virginia, and we came back, we just showed that we can really come together as a team, uh, especially coming down 17 points, just coming together as a team and be able to be a good, te a veteran team like that. I mean, that shows right there that we can really pretty much be a, a lot of teams in this country. And we just got to be able to put our minds to it and just do it as a team. Cal Perry mentioned, you know, you guys can't trade baskets. Mm -hmm. What is he? How does he relay that message to you? And what does he want you guys to improve on? Yeah, I mean, just getting defense and stops. Uh, just knowing that you're going to be able to score on the offensive end, but be able to go on the defensive end and say you're not going to score. Not just going to bucket and bucket and bucket. No, you got to get a bucket and then be able to get some stops. Uh, a saying that my day used to say, get a stop, score a stop. So be able to get a stop and then go get a bucket, then get another stop. It just changes the momentum of the game instead of just going basket for basket. I think now, once you get in the tournament, I think that's something big that we really got to work on because there's a lot of good teams in the tournament, so we got to be able to get stops against them. Kevin, how would you how would you grade your your personal defense mm -hmm. in that game and and for the season? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think this has been my best defense this season. Uh, the coach has been really. I've been watching a lot of film, just making sure that I can get better uh, on the defensive end. Uh, I think that's something I got to really work on pretty much uh, the rest of this year and for my years to come. So. I just got to make sure that I just give everything I got on the defensive end and be able to do it on the offensive end. Uh, but I that's de definitely put that all on me. Uh, I didn't th think I played a really good defense this year. But I mean, like I said, the season's not over. I could really improve it, uh, show people that I can. I really been working on and showing the tournament and SEC tournament and NCAA tournament. What do you think? You didn't play your best defense, yet you're all leading. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, uh, <laughs> that's probably most because of offense. But I think defense. If I can show that I can play defense, I can make, take my game to another level. Because uh, people know I can really play on the offense end. Uh, so I got to show them I can play on the defense end as well. How and much he also, you? Coach also said that in the last game, you guys didn't pass, mm -hmm. and he didn't know why. Yeah. Why? Why do you think? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, we just came off four-game winning streak. Uh, we was playing really well. I don't know why we didn't come out and pass, but like I said, it's, it's do or die now. we got to be able to come out and play. We can't play like we did on Saturday. we got to be able to come out and play like we were playing on the four-game winning streak.